different countries have different standards of care too. So. Hey guys, I guess so it's day 11 in the hospital. Here I am in my room. Hopefully I'm getting out today and will become an outpatient. My advice for you is to, if you can, know somebody in your network, like at home, friends of friends who are a nurse or a doctor, because what you want to do is verify how you're getting treated, like the medications that they're using are similar to what they would do at home once they've made that diagnosis with you because basically they've been giving me the drip antibiotics every day and just once a day and at home I would have been getting it two to three times a day so that's not good and may explain why I'm still feeling so crappy so crappy oh and also to know to get that medical professional that you know from home to prompt you with questions that you can ask because basically the nurses and doctors just use translator apps and to have that clear language so that the translator app can pick up at least some of the meaning that you're trying to convey and they'll want to use medical jargon because they don't seem to know how to dumb it down. Sorry, I'm actually just really in a lot of pain right now. Yeah, I've had 11 days of drip antibiotics and yeah, I just don't feel any better than I did a week ago. So this is where it's tricky, where you just don't know. I've been so lucky to have a friend that's really been helping me absolutely every step of the way. Asking them to check my oxygen, asking them to check my what my white blood cell counts are. These are things that I would never have thought to ask because I just don't know. You certainly have to be proactive, which I found very difficult to do because I've just been so out of sorts. That, and usually I'm a very curious, very questioning person. So yeah, I just, I haven't been right and I know I don't feel right. So it's just been really hard all around. Anyway, I'm hoping for some good news today so that I can just get back into bed. <sighs> And then let's hope but yeah I'm definitely in a lot of pain and breathlessness is not fun either. These chairs turn into beds so that basically there's enough room for a guest to stay. The rubbish never gets taken away and I literally have no idea where to take it so I just leave it there. Also this is the view. Please note that the windows are open to let the fresh air in because it's China, and you know fresh air. <laughs> How cute is this? She left this on my table in the hospital. And look, has taken the time to go through and go, after dinner, at eight o'clock, breakfast, lunch. Because there's no way that I can read this and I have no idea. Look at these little things. So this is pain medication. It's less than one Nurofen. This is a muscle relaxer because apparently that's what my pain is. I don't buy it for a second. But anyway, it's lovely that they have it all lined up like that. And what a sweet wee note. Anyway, so I'm home from the hospital now. <sighs> Getting discharged took hours absolutely hours i got this little takeaway bag which well let's go through it shall we so this is my antibiotics for yeah see i get to write on it because when somebody tells me i'm never going to remember so it's a lot less than what we would get given at home and then i've had some pain some more of the pain medication and i've already taken two because i know it's so low I also, oh, and then here's my muscle relaxers here. I have Googled that this is a brand that you can get at home and I have been given the right amount for what, like the right dosage for this one, because this I could look up. And I have no idea what these things are. Oh, this is a copy of my discharge record. So that's why I wrote it there. <laughs> Cause yeah, everything's in Chinese and I have no idea what anything says. I have a sick note, so it's got the lovely little stamp on it to say, yes, this is official. I did ask for a copy of all my medical records, 
So it's a whole water paper there and all the different things. So yes, this one here just tells me that I have an infection. <laughs> Lovely. I'm <laughs> home now and just need to rest. All right, let's cut off this tag because I'm no longer an impatient. So basically what's going to happen next is I need to go for a blood test and yeah, see if this spot on my lung infection is clearing up at all. And yeah, I guess I'm somehow magically going to be just fine. <laughs> I have no idea. Like it's, they're not very forthcoming with information and one really has to have the patience to ask to ask the right questions, which means that you need to know what the right questions are. So I think that's why I mentioned earlier that you really need to have somebody, just somebody at home that can, some medical advice to be able to guide your questions because I don't know anything. I have absolutely no idea. So that's why I wanted to make this video in case something like this happens to you because it's not fun and when it's in a whole other language and the translator apps it really I've really learned the limitations of them basically because all the medical personnel will just speak to it in medical jargon and it's too difficult because again when it's spitting out medical words at me I don't know what that is <laughs> and then I need a dictionary myself so also, hold on to your receipts. Uh, through your work, you should have insurance, but you should also have travel insurance anyway. And I actually was looking at mine last night and apparently I was supposed to call as soon as it happened. This is now, <laughs> well, 11 days later. And I don't know, I've just been in such a fuzz, tired state that there was no way that my brain even thought, oh, I should call my travel insurance and see about this. So basically at the moment I'm just paying straight out of pocket. Um, this is not normal for New Zealanders, you know, being in the ER and then being put in wards and I mean really I've just had some IV antibiotics. It should be free in my mind because that's what I'm used to from home. I realize every country is different and basically this has been a learning curve. You do sort of want to verify that you are being treated in a similar manner to what you would be at home and I can tell you from this that I have not been. <laughs> there is no way that they keep someone of this age in the, in the ward for 11 days as an inpatient for pneumonia. All right, wish me good health and I wish you good health too.